Welcome. As the FTSE 100 storms 7,400 on its way up once again, looking very strong at the moment. I thought perhaps we'd take a look at the chart uh, for a trade idea that uh, might be able to follow up on uh, if we get a close above some significant resistance today. Let's take a look first of all, though, at the FTSE 100 on a weekly chart to get a better idea as to what's happening with this uh, upward trend line we've had in place here since uh, the 5th of December. It might not feel like it, but it has been a very strong period uh, for the FTSE 100. We've had one uh, serious uh, pullback we saw the 17th of April on a weekly basis but since then it's been up a, yes it's off the highs but uh, it's followed this trend line up which continues and you can see this latest week here where we've seen the uh, bears trying to pull it down below that for the second maybe third week running but the bulls have won out again and here we are now at the best performance we've had in a couple of weeks for the FTSE 100. Let's change this on to the daily chart to get a better idea as to what's happening and if I think I can bring up uh, a chart showing where we are in in terms of some of the other technical analysis, we've got uh, some uh, serious upticks going on here. Stochastic, you can see uh, the uptick has been with us now for several days, and indeed the RSI as well. Let's uh, move away from those two. Take a look at the MACD, which I think is significant. The MACD, you can see here, has now seen the histograms turn green, and that's significant as well. It means this blue line has gone above the signal, the red signal line, and that is significant because it indicates the potential for more upside uh, as the momentum it turns around and we get now uh, the momentum coming back. Let's take a look at the uh, main price action on this FTSE 100. That's uh, that line I drew on on the weekly so showing this support that we've had since the beginning of uh, December. If we focus in on some more recent price action, you can see quite clearly the move that we've had here today. And it's this line here at 74.19 I want to draw your attention to. This has previously been uh, support. It's also been resistance as well. So it's quite a significant level. And the fact it's risen above this, here we are now with around about uh, an hour and a half, 90 minutes or so to go on the trading day on this uh, Wednesday the 12th of July. If we get a close above that level, which at the moment at least it looks like it's going to do, that is significant. It takes this candle above that. The close above that would indicate then that this line then becomes uh, support again. So on the upside here, where do we go from here? This is the daily chart. So uh, we're looking here at the green line as potential resistance we've got here at 74.60, which is the upside on the 50-day moving average, a simple moving average. And then if it, uh, if it breaks that and you can see that coincides with the resistance point we've got here on the 26th and 27th of June. If it then breaks that, you've then got a clear run pretty much all the way up to the 53.30, uh, sorry, 73.30 level. And then if it breaks that, of course, it's on from there. But I think, as I say, today's move is significant. It has got impetus potentially to go higher. And if it does close out at these levels, at least it's then got that 74.19 as the next support level to watch out for. Want to just quickly follow up with that on in terms of the comment about where you should be putting a stop. Uh, a stop should always go below the previous line of significance. And if you go long on this where we are at the moment, the stop clearly can't just go below this previous line uh, of resistance that it's broken. It has to go below this uptrend line here. So you'd be looking to put your stop at around about the 7350 level, which will give you a, a good clear um, margin if there is a little bit of a pullback. Uh, you don't want too much of a pullback, otherwise it means you lose too much money, what you want to do is to put a stop to take you out of the market if it does reverse in a big way. But at the moment at least, as I said, it is looking as though it has got strength to move higher from this point.